How do you know if you have a rare 2009 penny? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to make sure you aren't missing any rare 2009 penny worth potentially thousands of dollars. Welcome back to All Money Prices. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about rare coins and paper money, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into the video. Up first, we have a 2009 S Lincoln Bicentennial one penny coin graded by PCGS, a proof like 70 red deep cameo. So there's a lot of different coins in this series and they all brought a lot of money. If you have a penny that has this type of back to it with Lincoln sitting on a piece of wood here, you could have a coin worth a lot of money. This one was a proof coin. That means that the backdrop of the coin has a mirror-like finish to it. The coin was not necessarily intended to go out into circulation, but this coin graded at the perfect grade of 70. That's right. This is the highest grade you can achieve in grading. And that's why this coin sold for $230. This one penny sold for $230. Up next, we have a 2009D. That D mint mark stands for the Denver Mint, and this is the professional life back of this coin. You can see Lincoln is standing there. These coins have such beautiful artwork and they can bring a lot of money. This one was graded by NGC, a mint state, 68 red. The red is the color of the coin. These coins can come in brown, red brown, or red. Some collectors enjoy collecting all different types of those colors. If your coin grades this highly and it looks this nicely, it could be worth a lot of money. So if you find this coin and it looks really good, remember the condition of these coins really, really does matter when it comes to wanting to sell your coins and how much they're actually worth. So if you find one, Keep it in good condition. You don't want to damage it. Also, you want to get the appraisal of someone else. You want to find someone trustworthy that you can trust to have look at your coins. I offer a service. If you hit the join button below, you can cancel at any time. You can send me pictures of your coins and I'll tell you exactly how much they're worth. But I would say you want to get the opinion of multiple people. Don't go with just the first person, especially if you don't trust them. The last thing you want to do is lose a lot of money on your coins because they can be worth a lot of money. I've seen so many people get scammed out of tens of thousands of dollars on their collections. That is not what I want to have happen to you. And honestly, sometimes people's collections are not worth that much money, but there's been times when people's collections, I've handled collections worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I've seen people get scammed. I've seen people get lowball offers. That's the last thing you want to do. On coins like this, you don't have to worry as much, but they can still bring a lot of money, guys. So please, if you're selling your coins, make sure you find someone trustworthy. But this one penny from 2009 sold for $405. Here we have a 2009 D, that D stands for the Denver Mint, one cent formative year. Years, Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS a mint state 67 again the artwork on these is just so beautiful I love these coins and if they achieve that high grade they can sell for a lot of money this is not a proof this is not a specimen this is a normal circulated issued coin here and this one penny sold for five hundred and eighty eight dollars here we have a 2009 no mint mark that means it was minted at the Philadelphia mint one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS a mint state 68 and this is the presidency coin you can see the back of the coin there such a beautiful design on these coins. This is a very, very high grade for this coin, which allowed this coin to sell for $960. Up next, we have a 2009D one cent formative years penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 67 red. So going up in the grades here, this is again a normal issued coin. And this beautiful penny here sold for so much money, guys. So again, if you find this coin and it looks like it's in good grade, it's in good condition, there's no real big scratches or dents, it could be worth a lot of money because this this one penny sold for $1,410. Continuing to go up in value, here's a 2009 one cent penny with the Lincoln Professional back, created by PCGS, a mint state, 68 red. So the higher the grade goes, the better the condition, the more money the coin is gonna be worth in the marketplace. Also, it's important to remember that the market timing is very important. Right now, we're in a pretty good market. It's a good time to sell your collection if you want to, because we are in an upturn of a market. A good example, is in 2007, 2008, 2009 when the housing market was crashing, that was a time that people were scared and their coins and their valuable collectibles weren't bringing that much money. But now we're at a time when people are spending a lot of money on coins and collectibles. So now would be a great time to sell. Just again, make sure you find someone trustworthy. But this one penny sold for $1,939. Oof, man, look at this coin here. You can tell immediately that it has a nice tone and luster to it. It's a more reddish color, but this 2009D one cent Lincoln head penny with the presidency back was graded by PCGS, a mint state 68 red. This coin definitely has some toning to it. Now toning happens naturally and it happens from the air and where it is stored. It is natural oxidation that happens on the coin. You can see the outside of the coin is a redder color and I would say that plays a big role in why this coin brought so much money. But the biggest things here is, you know, this has the D mint mark underneath the date there. So this is from the Denver mint and this coin graded only two points away from the perfect grade of 70. 
470. It has a really nice tone and luster to it, and that's why this coin sold for $4,700. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you in the next video.